On Wednesday night, the Vancouver Canucks will meet the Calgary Flames for the first time in the postseason since 2004. These teams have a great rivalry going back forever, and often the winner advances to the Stanley Cup Final. I'm joined by Ian McIntyre of the Vancouver Sun and Scott Stinson of the National Post for their quick thoughts on this series. Ian, let's start with you in Vancouver. Well, the Flames and Canucks have quite a different reputation. I think Canucks a puck possession, more of a offensive skill team perhaps. Calgary, more hustle and grit, but they're actually very similar. They're both top 10 in scoring. They're both about second, third in defending. The Canucks have better special teams and a much better power play, but Calgary is the least penalized team in the league, so maybe that won't be a factor. I think there's a lot to be said for Calgary's first line right now. That's Yuri Hoodler, Sean Monaghan, and Johnny Hockey. They're the hottest line in the league in March. If they carry that into the playoffs against Vancouver, they're going to be a handful. But Calgary also relies an awful lot on their top four defensemen. First round shouldn't be a problem, but I wonder how far they could really go when they have such a concentration of ice time. There's questions for both goalies, Eddie Lack for Vancouver, Jonas Hiller for Calgary. They both have things to prove. Lack, of course, has never played in the playoffs before. And one wild card I would say to keep an eye on is Sam Bennett. This is the kid drafted fourth overall who would have been on the Flames had he not been injured early in the season. He's back and available to them now. We don't even know if he's going to play, but if he does, he has tremendous skill could really be a wild card player in this series. Scott, your thoughts? Sort of to, the, to Ian's point about Calgary, there's so much of their scoring is concentrated on their top line now too, and it's been so hot. I think that's gonna be the real challenge for them. Um, do they have the depth to, to run through a long you know, series of games if a good defensive team like Vancouver can sort of shut down Johnny Hockey at all? Then I wonder if they'll be able to get the scoring from other parts of their lineup to be able to to really contest the series. The other thing, of course, with Calgary, I think Jonas Hillary, I agree absolutely, he's a bit untested, a bit unproven. And also, man, like stay in the net. Every time he comes out, it just seems like an adventure for that team. So if he can sort of avoid the gaffes, then I think that'll give them some, some help. But ultimately, I think it's gonna be a tall order for them to, uh, to prevail over Vancouver in this one. All right, so what are the picks then? Ian, let's start with you. Well, uh, I think Vancouver is a the favorite. They start at home and they have experience. And that's why I'm going to pick Calgary, because both these teams seem to have done their best this year when people expected the least from them. So I'm going to go with the Flames in seven games in an upset. Scott? Yeah, I can't, I can't really argue with that. I, would, I think I'll do, I'll do slightly different and say I think Vancouver in seven, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if the Flames do exactly as you suggest. Well, Ian, as you say, neither of these teams was expected to even make the playoffs. One of them is going to go to the second round, so it's a success for at least one team. Gentlemen, thanks for joining me.